The Seattle Art Museum's present facility opened in December 1991. It is located at University Street and First Avenue in downtown Seattle. It was designed by Pritzker Prize winning architect Robert Venturi and built by the Howard S. Wright Construction Company with a $28,100,000 budget. The building's exterior features arches, pillars, and other ornaments made of terracotta and tile on top of a limestone shell. In an interview with the New York Times about the building, Venturi said, It is a museum that does not try to be elitist. I thought we ought to make it likable to children and passers-by. If you go to Florence, the art is right out in the street, part of everyone's experience. We couldn't go that far, but we tried to bring it down to the street and make it open and inviting. In front of the Seattle Art Museum, you'll find The Hammering Man by Jonathan Borofsky. The Hammering Man was built in 1992. He is 48 feet tall and made out of hollow fabricated steel with a mechanized arm of aluminum, an electric motor, and black paint. It cost $450,000 to make and received funding from various organizations including the Virginia Wright Fund and City of Seattle. The Hammering Man hammers four times per minute, 24 hours a day, except on Labor Day when he rests his arm. He is a symbol for the worker in all of us, and the swinging of his arm goes from the mind to the hand and back again. We all use our minds and our hands to create our world. Many other hammering men in various sizes can be found all over the world, including Seoul, New York City, Los Angeles, Dallas, and Frankfurt, where the original and biggest one lives. On the inside of the museum, the sprawling marbleized staircase connects the entrance to the rest of the art, which resides on the second, third, and fourth floors. Looking through the giant windows marks a parallel experience of walking up the inner city streets, connecting to the back entrance a full floor higher. While the grand staircase is functional by leading the observer to the great art above, it also serves a bigger purpose. It's the transition from lobby to artwork that makes the staircase so wondrous. Four Ming Dynasty figures are on display, as well as other figures representing certain animals. These dotted figures on the stairs throw the viewer into a different environment. While walking up the stairs, you're transported to a different time entirely, before being revealed the collection of art spanning across many different time periods. In a way, the staircase can be thought of as a time machine, sending those who venture through into a world full of wonder and mystery.